Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the RM Network. My name is Richard Mahalski, and today we are going to be talking about Solo, a Star Wars story. The new movie stars Alden Ehrenreich, uh, Woody Harrelson, Amelia Clark, Donald Glover, and it's the newest chapter in the Star Wars film history. <laughs> Sorry, I was going to say saga, but it's not. It's a, one of the standalone movies. But <clears throat> this movie is about Han Solo, and as you've seen from the trailers, big shot gangster putting together a crew, and they have to go and do a job. They have to go do a mission. And so let's talk about some of the good. Uh, Alden Ehrenreich, he did a really good job as Han Solo. I think he... Uh, exceeded my expectations. I didn't know what to expect from him because I haven't seen him in anything else, but I think he really exceeded my expectations as Han Solo. And I think that he's going to be the Han Solo for a new generation, especially if he pops up in more like John Favreau's TV show or something like that. But I honestly, yeah, he's Han Solo. That's just it. There's no more bickering about is he going to be doing a Harrison Ford impression or not? He isn't. He is his own character. He's, I believe this pl movie takes place about 10 or 5 years before the original. So he's very optimistic. He is very youthful. He's very green to the whole smuggling game scenario. And that made for really interesting character development from Han. And I think another standout character in this was uh, Jonas... I don't know his last name, so I'm just going to put it right there, as Chewbacca. I think he did a fantastic job. We get to see Chewbacca do stuff that when Peter Mayhew was Chewbacca, we never really got to see, whether it be because of his age or just practicality in general. But Chewbacca really kind of kicks ass in this movie. He's fantastic. He really does a good job. And I think the third real standout of this movie is Donald Glover as Lando. I think he does a fantastic job as Lando Calrissian. I think that was the one we all knew. We all knew going into this. If we're looking for something, we're looking at Hans or we're looking at uh Donald Glover as Lando. And I think he didn't disappoint. He really did a good job. He played the charm and the charisma because he just has charm and charisma naturally. And then I think, as far as the other characters go, Woody Harrelson playing Tobias Beckett and Amelia Clark playing Kira, they both did re they did good jobs. I don't think they were the stands out standouts of the movie, but I think they did really good jobs in their roles. Um, for the most part, Woody Harrelson just kind of plays Woody Harrelson. You know, he has that shtick. I don't want to. I don't. I don't think shtick's the necessary word, but he does have that kind of character to him. He's an older, gruffer man. And then Amelia Clark, who plays Kira, uh, who was Han's childhood friend. They grew up in Karelia together. I think she did a really good job. She had some very interesting uh, character development because there's a gap in between times that Han has seen her and stuff happens there that we don't know about and it changes her between the first time we're introduced to her in this movie and the final time that we're introduced to her in this movie. And the final time she's on screen in this movie. There's definitely a change of personality in that. So, I also really enjoyed a lot of scenes in this movie. And this is really interesting because I think the movie as a whole, there are some very clear pacing issues and I think there are some lulls in the movie. But there were when it worked, it really worked. There were great scenes in this movie. And a lot of that comes from the characters. It drives from the characters that we've seen and we know and we love. As well as new introductory characters. Um, I gotta make mention of this right now. L337, who is the new droid in this movie. I was not a fan of her. Uh, and a lot of that is because she is fighting for one goal. And it's a goal we saw in the book Star Wars Last Shot. But in that... They did it really well as to show her and Lando's character while also showing that she is going for this goal. But in this movie, it is beating you over the head with it. You're like, okay, stop, 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 stop. And, you know, that I, I just don't think that she measures up to a K2SO or a BB-8 that we've seen before, you know? But uh, 
What else? So I, as I was saying about these pacing issues is I think the movie starts off really strong. We're in this first act on Corellia, and I think you're going really well. And then it kind of takes a lull. You know, there's kind of some time in between that really not much is happening. I mean, stuff is still happening, of course, but not much is. And I feel like we could have been getting up. We could have been doing more. We could have been setting up a villain. Because another one of the movie's problems is I don't think it has a clear and definite villain. And I think you needed it. You can see why they didn't have a clear and definite villain. Because everybody's a villain. Because it's a western and it's a smuggler gangster movie, you know? But I feel like if you focused on one person, because the trailers, they had been pushing Enfys Nest as this villain. Enfys Nest, if you don't know, it was uh, the person who was against Han Solo in the standoff. It was like the crazy old helmet. And then, but then you also have Dryden Voss, who was played by Paul Bettany, who I thought did a good job, we just didn't see him enough. And uh, you're like, is this guy a villain? Because he is... You know, he's a gangster, he's a smuggler, you know? So is he the bad guy? It needed to focus up on a villain. Now, what I will say this movie had, and I loved, but I'm really interested to see how just an average audience reactions to this. It had some very deep cuts in terms of canon, and if you haven't been paying attention to a lot of stuff, some of this stuff is just going to fly right over your head, but if you've been paying attention to Rebels and the Clone Wars and the books, I think that there are going to be a few references here and there. That It's not going to spoil, or it's not going to uh, ruin the movie if you don't know them, but if you do, you're going to be like, that's pretty cool. That really is to see that they tied it all together. I thought that was fantastic. And that's kind of about it for me. I don't think it's the best Star Wars movie in this new regime, but I don't think it's the worst either. Um, I really... I had a good time with this movie, and I'm definitely going to go see it again, because it's fun, and that is like the one word that's been coming out of all the reviews, positive or negative, people have said, it's fun, and that's, you know, all I really wanted out of this movie, especially having uh, heard all of the problems that went on behind set with uh, Phil Lord and Chris Miller being director and then not being director and then Ron Howard stepping in. I think that this movie was pure fun. And that is really what I was looking for. It gave me some deep cuts into canon, which I really enjoyed. And just really enjoy. I enjoyed it. I had fun with it. I don't know what else to say about this movie. So I'm going to let you guys say. Let me know in the comments section. Have you guys seen Solo? Are you interested in seeing Solo? If you have... What are your thoughts on it in the comments section? Please don't spoil anything. We will be doing a spoiler review, and then you can comment on spoilers there if you want to. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure you uh, like it, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so, and when you subscribe, hit that little bell icon. It really uh, it will notify you when new videos come up, and that always helps. Social media, mine and the channels will be in the description box below. Uh, please feel free to follow if you want to. And uh, that's it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. As always, I'll see you next time.